Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork Crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork Excuse the morning voice. You guys know you see the title. When it's a 13-hour wear test, it starts extremely early. It is literally 5.32 a.m. And we're going to get started. Yeah. Ugh. I'm sorry. Today, we're not testing a foundation. As you can see, my foundation is already on and I'm orange. Shut up. Today, I'm going to be testing the new Naked Quickie Concealer. This is supposed to be up to 24-hour wear multi-use concealer. I've never tried it. You guys know I don't even try new concealers. The last concealer that I tried was um, my She Glam Concealer, which I have to reorder. I did that wear test with the foundation and bomb so i'm hoping to get some good results and we need to get started because i uh, uh, me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah. i sound terrible but if you guys are ready to get into this wear test as i am keep on watching I'm trying to get my voice to something yeah I don't know right so let's get started again this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer I got this from my aunt who works at Ulta which is right on time because I need something new to try maybe everything's content so here it is this is in 60 nn it's a concealer and corrector so they say but they say it's multi-use which is probably why it's this big because you can probably use it as a foundation i'm not doing that at all y'all see foundation is on but it does have a little brush it's like a kabuki um for me i guess i guess it's okay it's at an angle where i don't know that i would use it for to apply foundation but I guess more for like concealer but I wouldn't use this I just don't like using brushes for concealer so there's that for real but let's get into it it is a doe foot big old doe foot so I'm just gonna take some off I'm just gonna conceal wherever I conceal and it's, my foundation is creasing because it's been on and it's not been set yet so that's a little I have to work quick I'm gonna set my foundation. This is actually also a redo of using calamine lotion as a primer. So we'll also see how that works out. And uh, I don't like, like I would have preferred to start this a little bit earlier, honestly. I don't, I don't like that smell. I prefer to not have a smell and it's, I don't know. Is that like alcohol? I don't know what that is. It's not like alcohol, but it's I don't I don't know. I don't know how to explain that so it's not quite like paint, but and no lashes this time for the wear test because y'all after 13 hours, my eyes just felt so heavy and I was tired. So we're not going to do that. Um, It feels nice. It's not th as thick as I thought it would be. It's a little, for me, it feels like it's more on like the watery side. But it's not thin. So don't, don't think that. It's not thin. I just, I don't know. Like, when I use my Tarte Shape Tape, it's thick. So I don't have to use as much. A little thinner than that. I'm just gonna go in with my diamond beauty sponge and blend everything out. Now I've been <sighs> I wish I had started earlier, but I'm just so tired and sleep has not been like a thing that I'm getting for real. So no matter what time I go to sleep, I'll still wake up at 2 a.m. and then I'll just be up looking dumb or up playing solitaire on my phone and I don't know. So it blends out really, really nice. I don't think I'm, I'm not working at all. 
to try to blend it out so that's cool but it may also be on like because it's on the thinner side compared to <clears throat> shape tape now even that Shein that she glam concealer that I used is on the thicker side too it was matte this one I it didn't say a finish so I don't know for real but I'm gonna assume it's matte if it's long wear I just in my mind if it's like a dewy or natural it'll probably break down a little easier so I'm not too sure about that but that's my logic all right but it does blend out really really nicely the color's okay I think the color's fine I just think it's on it's a little bit on the cooler side so it's not really as tan as I like it even though that's supposed to be like warm tan or something like that something close to what I'm used to I threw the box so I can't check for you guys but it it looks fine I'm just going to go ahead and set it oh itchy so ugh, I just got really itchy I'm just blending it out so I'm gonna go ahead real quick set it finish my face and show you guys because this is a weird test we're not focusing on all the other stuff so I'm gonna let you guys know exactly how it, it oh I'm itchy why am I itchy hmm I don't like that I don't know hopefully that's not a bad uh, I'm not gonna I'm really itchy on the side and I was not itchy until I put it on let me just tell you I don't know anyway sorry sorry sorry, sorry. we're gonna move because I am strapped for time and I would like to be completely done by six o'clock so let's do this I'm gonna finish up off camera set my face do all that stuff I'm just gonna set it with my makeup revolution banana powder like I do all the time you guys know for a wear test I like to use the products that I use all the time because that makes it a real wear test um, and if these if new products can't work with my everyday then I really don't know I'm not switching my routine for it in this that I'm gonna finish up right now okay <laughs> it's I was back pretty fast it was like it's like less than 10 minutes so you guys see when I don't put on lashes it doesn't take that long it's just like it's my makeup does not take that long guys come out. so I got the box and this is in 60 and in medium dark so it's a neutral nude like I said the undertones were not warm I usually like warm my actual undertones are pink red so there's that but it says that this is medium dark and a little racist 555 the first check-in is going to be at 10, the next at 3 p.m., and the last is at 7. I have been, like I told you guys in one of my other videos, I've been walking two miles on the tread climber after work. I typically get off at like 4.35 o'clock. So we'll see. Like, if it's not holding up too good by 3, then I'm just be like, fuck it, and I'm going to do my walk and see how it holds up after that. And I think that would be cool. Put it to the test. I know for my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, there was a fucking snowstorm. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's that. I just want to say real quick before I talk about how it's set or whatever. It's actually still setting. That this is my highlight. You guys know this is my go-to. I love it. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. It is going away. So it is on sale right now. Not sponsored. This is just me because I'm not even on their PR list anymore, but I love them to death. Um, and this is actually my favorite. Look, look at it. Look at it. It's been through some things, y'all. So I'm going to buy a few of them right to last me for the rest of my life i think this would last me for the rest of my life but i'm gonna buy a few of them let me know in the comment section down below what my we're gonna do a question we're gonna do a question i need something i need something good something that you guys should know about me i don't know i don't know comment down below my favorite number just guess you guys don't know it's between one and ten if you know it you know it it's just a guess so i think this makes it fair I don't think anybody really knows my favorite number comment down below my favorite number it's between 1 and 10 so comment number between 1 and 10 y'all and I'll send you one of the top shot highlighters because I'm going to buy a few of them today but yeah just have to let you guys know it looks fine I have no complaints right now I don't know why I was getting itchy but it's cool once it because it's just my concealer for it to be neutral doesn't really bother me because I'm still gonna set it with my banana powder which ooh, 
I'm still gonna settle my banana powder, which is gonna give it some warmth back. I'm gonna bronze. I'm gonna do all that good stuff and get it done. And that's and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not doing anything really exciting today. Um, like I said, I'll just be working, and I don't even have work for another few hours. So I'll make breakfast and I'll go for my walk. I'm going to cut it now. It's 5.57. Again, we're going to call it 6 o'clock for numbers sake. And the first check-in is going to be at 10 a.m., then 3 p.m., and then 7 at the end. If the 3 p.m. check-in isn't so great, or if it, it honestly, no matter what, I'm going to walk my two miles and we're going to I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes. So, let's get this wear test. Here's the stuff. first check-in. My hair looks a mess. Don't worry about it. It's doing hair things. It is now... 10.02, sorry that I'm holding my phone right now with my hand, so I'm trying to keep it as stable as possible. I don't know what's up with my gimbal, it's being real dumb. But that's not here down there. It looks really good, holding up really, really well so far. I have no creasing under the eyes. Sorry, maybe I need better lighting. Is that better? All right. There's no crease, oh, look at that. A little crease under the eyes, nothing too crazy down here. The nose is still good, we're not getting oily. So maybe it's holding up okay with the, what is it, Calamine Lotion. And the concealer itself is, is pretty good. I set it really good, set good like the ice in the freezer. But um, I think it's working out really, really well. How about that? Am I tired? Absolutely. I am so exhausted. It is only 10.02 and I've already made my iced coffee. I've had my breakfast. But the next check-in is at 3. So we'll see how it looks then. I'm actually impressed. I think the first check-in, when I use the Calamine Lotion along with my regular skincare products and my regular foundation, it didn't fare so well. So maybe I'm doing it right this time and I used a lot. Or maybe I just set the shit out of my face. And the concealer is actually long wear. No idea, but I'll check back with you guys at three o'clock. Nine hours in. I'm still really tired, but it looks really good. Like mo almost all of it. Don't, know, don't worry about the tip of my nose. That was me. <laughs> but my lipstick is gone, but that's fine. But look, 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 look. Creasing is minimal after nine hours. It's not even like, Highlight is highlighting. Uh, it's not that bad. I uh, using the Calamine lotion alone last time was awful. It just after four hours was shit. The touch up was fine after nine, but this is actually going way better. If you hear my TV in the background, baby's watching you. And I've been eating all day, but I think it looks really, really, really good. For nine hours, I use more Calamine lotion, the same foundation as last time. Nothing's really changed. It's just I'm tired. But we're almost there. Uh, the last check-in is at six, seven, seven, seven. I will see you then. It is now seven o'clock on the dot drop top cruising these streets like usher okay <laughs> this is literally the 13 hour mark and i have to say oh my god because i think it looks so good i only did the concealer like not really crease that much it's like starting to crease now if you guys can see that but it's been 13 hours i think it it i think my face as a whole still looks really really good and that is in part to me retrying and reapplying more i think i applied more of the calamine lotion so it does work a lot better because this is the same foundation that i used before only thing that's different is the concealer i would say maybe it works because it's not as thick as my as my tarte shape tape I don't know. I could see it because of the consistency that it could be used as a foundation. Um, not for me, it's too neutral. I would need more of a pinky red undertone. But I think it works really, really well. And I don't even like Urban Decay like that. Um, I think I only like their setting sprays. But this is like 
do you guys remember last time when I did a 13 hour wear test with the foundation that I actually like? This is my Juvia's Place foundation, my velvety matte. I used it with the Calamine lotion and then just did everything that I usually do. And it did not come out this good. I don't know. I guess I finally got hit the jackpot, but I really like this concealer. I think it, I think it, I think I look great. And that's with me walking for 30 minutes on my tread climber. Oh, I was dying. I was sweating. It was a lot. I hit my two miles. I think I hit 2.24 miles. That's with me eating all day. And my baby father was here. So my nose rubbed off a lot because I was in his face. I'm always in his face. Oh, that poor man. <laughs> I feel bad for her, but I don't. I do, but I don't. Like, you know what you're saying for. And I always call him, I need to stop calling that man my baby father. I have zero children, but I don't care. So I'm going to say, it says it's up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer. It might be, because we're at 13 hours and I think it looks amazing. Again, it has this brush here. I wouldn't use this brush. I just think because it's, I don't know, when it's Kabuki brush for foundation, I personally like one. This is like, they feel like synthetic fibers. I, I think I like more natural fibers for, or more natural feeling fibers for my foundation brush. And I just think it's really small and it's, I don't know, maybe if you use a brush under your eye. I don't like to, I prefer to use a sponge, but I think the shape is perfect for that. So that's cool. I just would never try it. It's just not for me. I don't even know how people use, nah, I don't. Like a, a concealer brush to blend a concealer. I don't like that either. I don't, I'm sorry. It just smelled very strong when I did that. So it is a large doe foot applicator. I feel like it's almost, it's like maybe half the size of that Tarte foundation. I know that that had a doe foot, but it's really, I think it's really, really good. I think it's a good shade for me also. Um, because it's a neutral, I would not use it as a foundation. But honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm really, really surprised. And I want to wash my face. You guys know. But I feel refreshed. I have my walk. I didn't let... I was scared that I was going to like finish late and not do my walk. But I put it to the test. I was sweating. Okay, guys? When I get off that track line, I'm disgusting. And... Ugh, I'm ready to go. But that is it, guys. If you liked the video, make sure... I don't know what my hair is doing. I apologize. <laughs> if you liked the video, guys, make sure you go ahead and like the video. It helps me out a lot. If there are any other foundation or concealers that you want me to try, let me know in the comments down below. I will do that for you. There's a haul coming soon. I don't know when, but I might start moving wear tests to Wednesdays. I'm not 100% sure. We might do a wear test Wednesdays, maybe like once a month. If I have the product to do so. I'm really trying to stay on top of my videos and keep it fresh for you guys. So I'm working on that. And I can't wait. But if you haven't already, guys, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time.